On the home front, Nigerian club Inugu Rangers and Ramos Stars made winning starts in CAF Champions League qualifying as the beat to become the first title holders from the country since 2004. Frank Uwumeru netted midway through the first half to give Inugu a narrow 1-0 win away against Zimodro of the Cameroons. Meanwhile, Ramos Stars overcame conceding early in the second half to edge former African champions F.A.R. Rabat of Morocco by two goals to one in Ikene. Unduka Jr. had a first half goal for Stars cancelled by Joel Beyer six minutes after halftime, while Ismaila Sadiq puts Ramos Stars ahead again on the 66th minute and this time the Nigerians retain their advantage to set up an intriguing return match on August 25th in the American capital. Points are Didier Fartokon with a cross with ball into the pot and a close the header! It's not Sadiq! Still on the home front, the Lagos State Football Association has expressed its commitment to support female football development efforts in the state. Working with the Lagos State Football Association, the Lagos State Female Development Committee has launched the Girl Child Football Training and Mentoring Program. No fewer than 300 girls from ages 7 to 15 took part in the first program at the popular Onikon Stadium, now known as the Mobolaji Johnson Arena. Titled It's Time for Girls, the youngsters received training in football techniques and other essential life skills outside football. The Female Football Development Initiative is also supported by the Lagos State Ministry of Youth and Social Development. The governor is very sport-centric, he's very youth-centric, and when we talk about youth and we talk about sports, this is what we're talking about. So be assured, be assured that um, he has this at heart. It feels like December 25th, 2024. Feels like a Christmas day. Feels like I've been fasting for 30 days and today is Eid to celebrate. Still on the home front, the Nigerian fencing is gearing up to host three international championships in the country. The tournaments coming to Nigeria include Men's EP Junior World Cup, the Commonwealth Fencing Championships, as well as the Senior African Championships built for 2025. President of Nigerian Fencing Federation, Adeinka Samuel, says the first of the competition is scheduled to take place in Lagos in December. The Junior World Cup is a competition organized by the International Fencing Federation, specifically for young fencers. Our first major tournament is in four months. It's a World Cup. The World Cup is open to 155 nations, which is all the, all the fencing federations. Um, we're hosting the Men's EP World Cup. We're hosting the Senior African Championships uh, June, July next year. The date is yet to be fixed, but most likely going to be June next year. Then this same World Cup, once you host it once, you get the right to continue to host it as long as you do a good job. We will be the first country in Africa to host this Commonwealth uh, Fencing Championships, which is a great achievement. And it's not just for us, it's for Africa. So when we started the bid for that, literally we went to all the African countries and they are all fully supporting us.